was so young. Um, I can remember a lot of times with my family fishing in Scotland and then our local trout fishery called Donington Trout Farm, which is closed down now. Uh, lots of gutting and uh, having a look at the heart and it was still pumping. That used to really excite us for some reason. Um, and yeah, lots, lots of Scottish trips as well, catching sea trout and brown trout. Uh, fly, love love the fly. Um, I've done it since I was very young. So, um, but I've also done spinning course, and I love everything. And I'll say yes to anything. So if someone says, "Oh, do you want to try this method?" I'll um, I'll jump to it because I just love love being out there, uh, no matter what what I'm doing. Favorite species? Um, I think I feel like I owe my life to salmon, um, Atlantic salmon. I love them so much. Uh, but anything, if I'm, you know, I love all species. I have a lot of time for, for every type of fish, um, whether that's a coarse fish, game fish, uh, sea fish. So, yeah, I love everything. But the king of the river is the best. <laughs> Salmon, watch out, Georgina Valentine. I'm coming for you. <laughs> I can think of two off the top of my head, one of which was in a car door, which I'm sure many people can relate to. Um, yeah, being rude on and off the bank, whether that's fishing, social media, tackle shops, you know, anything, um, you've, you've got to, if, you, if you're a fisherman and you've chosen to, to go out there and, and fish, You've got to be welcoming. You've got to, you can't just think it's all for you and that, you know, you don't want anyone in your space. Be, be, have your arms open and welcome new anglers. And if you see that they're struggling, go and help them. There's so many, you know, wherever I am, it's my favourite place at that time. Um, but I would say that where I am right now on, on the River Yore and uh, other places around here, you know, I, I love and I have so much passion for and um, I'm excited to even think about the next season ahead um, and I hope that, yeah, I'll be here for a very long time. Uh, the River Yore because it's got, it's a recovering salmon river so it's got a lot of history behind it and it used to have, well, I, 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 as I've been told, it used to have more netting stations than the River Tweed. Um, and and there are big fish in the river you so I hope that one day um, it will it will ha no, not have a status of recovering it will be you know prized as, as, as an Atlantic salmon river and I did last season have my best trout uh, days fishing here on a, a stream uh, which I felt like I had been picked up and and dropped in heaven and we spent the whole day, it was really hot, the river was alive with uh, bugs, aquatic fly life everywhere and the fish were rising from 11 o'clock until dark and it was, it was special. The biggest we caught was just under two pounds which is a really nice amazing wild trout to be in a very small place. Uh, best fishing tip uh, with a double-handed rod um, is to have T-Rex arms. So, so imagine that you've got really short arms. So when you um, come back into your D loop, you push your bottom hand out, which is the power hand. So steering hand is your top hand, bottom hand is your power hand. And when you deliver the cast, you come to an abrupt stop, but you imagine that you've got T-Rex arms. So you, a lot of people, they, they stretch out like this. And at the end of the day, you're just gonna get more tired and your loops are gonna open. Uh, so if you stop, um, nice and high with T-Rex arms, you're not going to overextend and open those loops up. That was a really good tip that I got told in Sweden. Uh, the first double-handed rod that Orvis gave me, because I've had a lot of memories and a lot of fish on this rod, and uh, yeah, when I think about it, it takes me back to amazing places and fish that uh, I hold very close to my heart. Um, proudest moment, actually, proudest moment of my life. <laughs> I passed my FFI uh, CI exam, which was really tough. 
I found it very tough. Um, and I pretty much, you know, it took me three months of dedication every day, practicing in the garden, practicing with my mentor, practicing on water. Um, and then when I passed, it was a three, uh, it was more than three hours. It was a long, long test, but it was, I think, two to three hours casting in front of three um, certified master casters. And they all, every time you finish a task, they all come back together on a clipboard and they they all and you're waiting, and then um, when I was told that I passed, I just burst into tears. Ah, I was so, I was so happy tears, obviously, but so it was so stressful. But that was the most, you know, that was the best thing I've ever done. School, whatever, you know, university, whatever, FFI exam, tick. <laughs> uh, I would like to pass, I would like to um, start my THCI, um, which is your double-handed uh, FFI exam. Um, I'm going to start that um, this winter, and I'll see when I'm ready. I'm going to take it slow, um, and and then one day, hopefully, get my masters. Um, another goal would be to get this place, the Northern Fishing School, really, you know, all the all the goals that I have for the school, hopefully, to be in place in in the next two years. Um, Want to you know, uh, hook up with, no pun intended, um, with a lot of charities and and really uh, help people that, and connect people with fishing in the outdoors that wouldn't normally have the opportunity. Um, most important things for me is to, to learn about the environment and to see what you can do to, to better the conservation around that environment and uh, fish welfare you know we're all out here catching these fish but we all need to practice the best catch and release and catch and kill uh, so you know you've got youtube videos you've got uh, google you've got lots of websites that all have this information uh, so don't just go fishing and not know how to do this properly or how you can even improve um, and it doesn't matter how long you've been fishing for and um, you can um yeah you can always improve mm -hmm.